Hello lovely people, it's Cara here and I am so, so mad. I hope you're all keeping well. Another week has whizzed by. How does that keep happening? Can't believe it. Already into mid-June. Wow. <sighs> extraordinary, extraordinary. And this week I thought I'd take you through my next batch of plans. I'm in that unusual state right now where I have completed all of my projects and I seem to be moving out of a green phase um, and there's several things that are, are green that I've recently made and one yet to finish actually. Um, so this is the Very Vert Viscose from Maison Fauve and I'll be making another one of these. This is the Cuba Libra. Um, I'm going to be making another one of these in the Very Vert so I cannot wait. Nearly finished that one, just the sleeves to go. So that's very exciting. So as I move out of my green phase, I am moving into a blue phase. Oh, I absolutely love it when a collection of fabrics looks as splendid as this together. Now I have a kaleidoscope of fabric colours in my wardrobe, but oh, how satisfying is that? Very exciting. And I thought I'd take you through them, as simple as that. Now, you know that I have a slight obsession with uh, the decorate dress, nearly forgot the name of it then, um, again by Maison Fauve. And I've spoken about this one for a while, but I promise you it is next on, on my set of projects to do after the green. Yeah, after the green um, Cuba Libra. But this fabric is just divine. I know I've showed it on here a few times, but a fabric this beautiful needs to be shown as often as it needs to be shown. Look at it. It's absolutely stunning. Now, um, Emily did a Valentine sort of collection, like a red collection, if you like, at Valentine's. And she wore a dress made out of this, or it might have been a blouse. Um, and actually it wasn't as sheer as you'd think, so I'm just going to go for it. And if I need to, I will buy a slip and wear it underneath. But I'm going to make this beautiful dress um, in this amazing lace. And just as a reminder, you can see here this fabulous back detail with this beautiful French pleats that cause all of this gubbins on the back. So I'm really looking forward to making that, which is very exciting. Um, then, to go with that, I'm going to make a Cuba Libra, no I'm not, I've got the Cuba Libra on my mind. <laughs> I'm going to make the Neige Libra, see, they're quite similar. I think you can forgive me for the error of my grammar there. Um, I'm going to make the Neige Libra, um, let me pop the stock photo in here, out of this stunning fabric. Now I've had this for a while um so um yeah a while but you know there is only so many working days or sewing days it was what I was gonna say in the year um and so I can't make everything all at once uh, unfortunately I'm never gonna retire so my my 100% sewing days are not ahead of me I'm afraid um so this is absolutely stunning I think it's called Floral Jacquard or something like that. Let me put the details of it on the screen there. It's just dreamy. It's sort of an off-white with these, these are actually um, very sparkly, slightly metallic blue flowers, which is beautiful. And it's going to be lined in this amazing um, lining. I mean, hang on a sec. Oh, so that's the vision, very unglamorously showing you there. That's the vision of a short Neige Libra jacket. Now my Neige Libra jacket that I wore to the um, Stitch Festival, I'll pop a, pop a photo in here somewhere. Um, it has life of its own, I just adore it. So this is going to be very, very cute. And I've got a party coming up in mid-July that I want to wear that to. And then, where was my head going to next? Oh, yes that was where I was going to next, is I want to make um, some more Tilly in the Buttons Thea trousers in this beautiful, uh, this has got to be a linen viscose I reckon, and I bought this from All 
Spectre So, um, although it was called Little Miss So and So at the time. I bought this last year, so this isn't available anymore, I'm afraid, but it is just a standard navy linen viscose. And I just think a really standard pair of, I'm gonna go for the three quarter length Thea trousers that with that mage libra short jacket and any of those beautiful white blouses that I've just made etc um, in fact if I've got any of that beautiful blue lace left then I can do the uh, the duo spritz top that I showed you last week the one that's got the sort of the the, the vest there's two vests one at the top one at the bottom oh that would be lovely oh my word that would be great so you imagine navy trousers little vest top with the blue lace and the cream uh, cream boil underneath and then the short Nage Libra jacket oh this is just a combination that I, I need I need it right now <laughs> which obviously I can't do just as a reminder ladies and gentlemen I do have a full-time job I have an amazing husband I have one dog oh actually by the time this comes out this doggy might be in my life let me introduce you to Teapot, oh, Tilly, oh no, Tilly, sorry, otherwise known as Teapot. Uh, as you know, I sadly lost my beautiful doggy log, um, Lara, oh, only three months ago, maybe even less than that. I am utterly heartbroken by the loss of Lara and always said that organically something would happen in order to have a replacement. Little did I know that my husband would get in touch with the previous breeder or the original breeder of Alice, our current Whippet, to ask if, any, if, he, if she knew of anyone that had um, or needed to find a forever home for, her, for a Whippet. Mm. A week later, little Teeley comes into um, a conversation. And so, yes, I am travelling all the way up to Lincolnshire next Saturday to go and um, collect Teely. Um, she's a 10 month old Whippet and honestly if I put a picture of Alice here and Teely here they already look like sisters. Oh I'm so nervous about this. I know there's space in my heart for Teely. Maybe it'll make the hole in my heart slightly smaller. <sighs> if you have experience of this situation I know this is about fabric and sewing but just a sideline. If you've got any tips for me on how to integrate a, a, a beautiful new puppy into a well-established dog's life, let me know in the comments below. Mm, I digress. I can't even remember how I got onto that bit. Oh, sorry. But anyway, loving the capsule wardrobe that's going on there. And just right now, I'm just going to pause and a Cara from the past is going to talk to you about something very exciting and I will come back to you on the other side. I want to take a moment at this point to say thank you to the sponsor of today's video and that is Serious Lights. I use my Serious Lights all of the time. Although we are in June and we should be at our brightest, people ask me all the time how I sew as much as I do and the simple answer is I need to be sewing at any time of the day or night. I'm often sewing before I've had a cup of tea and I'm often sewing right into the early hours if you like and therefore my lights are invaluable to me. I've got the Gemini which is part of the high definition range and they use daylight wavelength technology. I was watching their little Instagram story and it shows that it can be up to 12 times as bright as a standard bulb. It's amazing and I utterly believe it. These lights are so versatile. I love this Gemini range because literally I've got my ironing board there, which you can just see in the corner over there. And obviously my sewing machine and my overlocker. And it is phenomenal how well these get illuminated. They are, they've got these lovely adjustable parts here so you can really zoom in if you want to. But it's simplicity itself and such a beautiful design for that lovely fading in and fading out. So I utterly love these lights and I wanted to share with you so that you can experience this for yourselves. I do have an offer code for you which gives you £100 off the high definition lights and free delivery in the UK. The offer code that you would need to enter is CARA24 and I'll put that on the screen now and I really encourage you to head on over to the website and check out the full range of HD lights. 
Hi everyone, so I'm slicing in a bit of footage here, otherwise I'm going to forget to tell you something very exciting indeed. This is a Lady McElroy fabric. Oh, I'm so excited, I can't tell you. I decree that everyone should have as much fun in their sewing room and their sewing life as I do, because it just brings utter joy into my life. Um, <laughs> Through some amazing connection in the universe, I am going to be allowed to be an ambassador for Lady McElroy and I'm very excited to announce that I'm going to be provided with some fabrics and I will be making samples for Lady McElroy um, and also little, um, all set to sew to feature and uh, obviously sell their fabrics at shows or on Sewing Street and those sorts of things. So it is a paid collaboration. So often I'll be featuring fabrics that I don't then don't get to keep. And that's fine because just to be in the presence of fabric like this is a heavenly thing. Oh, so excited. So this is Tigers in Vegas. It's their brand new Juliet Viscose jersey. Now I did little, a little story about this on my Instagram, so please head over to my Instagram account if you haven't had a chance to catch up with that. I do share of my everyday life quite a lot on Instagram, but the Juliet jersey comes in the most beautiful array of um, patterns and colours and all sorts of things. And this actually has got tigers on it. Um, I don't know if you can actually see that or not. Let's see if I can bring in... Uh, yeah, I think you can just see a tiger here. Oh, I can't get hold of her. Uh, I hope you can see that. Well, actually, if I swizzle it round, there's a lovely big tiger on the back here. There we go. Look at those two tigers. So I was quite careful with my pattern placement on the front um, so I didn't want any tigers in inappropriate areas. But look how beautiful they are. Honestly, it's stunning. And this is the Estelle dress by Sew Over It, which is absolutely perfect for this style of dress. How this drape sits across the body. Now, obviously I haven't put this on because it's actually for someone else, but um, yeah, I've got a lovely tiger on the arm here and then just catch it, kept it quite neutral on the front, but there are some tigers on the base as well. How exciting is that? This fabric, it's beautiful. The other fabric that it was given, and this one is going to be for my own personal use, is this one. And I believe this is called Florette Ink, I think. So let me show you on this fabric, because again, this is a Juliet um, Viscose jersey, and it's 90%, 96% viscose, 4% spandex. And it's got a lovely stretch on it. Not so much this way, although you can see it does stretch, but a really good stretch this way. It is intentionally quite a lightweight summer viscose jersey. So absolutely perfect for obviously dresses like this, jumpsuits, um, uh, wrap dresses would be sensational. A beautiful pair of palazzo tr um, trousers in this, t-shirts, lightweight sweatshirts. <sighs> the choice is endless. The colour, the colour, the colour. Look, look at the colour. It's beautiful. So I wanted to slice this in because I'm actually giving this to Nicola tomorrow. Um, I'm, I'm teaching tomorrow at All Set to Sew and that's, so that's Nicola's company. She also now works um, for Lady McElroy. So she's running two businesses at once. What a phenomenal woman. And she is going to look sensational in this. So I cannot wait to share that with her. So let's get back to the video. So Lady McElroy. How lucky am I? I happen to be wearing Lady McElroy. This is uh, Rainbow Fields, I think it's called. I'm going to get that wrong again, aren't I? Rainbow Meadows, maybe. It's extraordinary how connections happen in life um, and opportunities come along. Yeah, it's too long a story to explain, really. And it's really early days. So um, just let's just let it evolve and see how we go. Um, but I'm honoured to be anything to do with Lady McElroy, uh, let alone ambassador for them. But uh, predominantly, as I said in the clip there, I'm predominantly I'm going to be making things for Lady McElroy for their use. So um, I don't necessarily get to see or to keep everything um, that uh, I'm working on for them. And that's a great arrangement um, because I don't know if you noticed, but I've got a lot of clothes. But I absolutely adore Lady McElroy fabrics. So... Who wouldn't want to be around that in any capacity? I am, however, very lucky 
because uh, the lovely owner of um, Lady McElroy um, has gifted me this fabric, um, which is very, very kind of him. This is Juliet uh, Viscose, as I said in the, in the footage there. And when we first started talking about it, I could absolutely envisage the beautiful Darcy address, I think it is, um, by So Liberated. I made two of those at Christmas with long sleeves and the lovely Angela from Devon Threadtails looks amazing in her Stasias. I'm sure is that how you say that but but since I have made the Sally jumpsuit that I was well actually I was wearing just in that clip there wasn't I? I absolutely adore that jumpsuit it's so easy to wear um I can really see that as a Sally jumpsuit and I love a jumpsuit you know this oh my word so it's so exciting, honestly, so, so exciting. Uh, yeah, so they are my, that's my blue phase. And then I have one more story to share with you. So hang on a second. This could well be an episode of, I don't know, something to do with a rainbow because I also have a couple of red makes that I want to make. Is anyone else as frenetic as me about sewing? Because I just have all of these plans in my head that I'm desperate to make. Um, and let alone wear, by the way. <laughs> it's almost impossible to wear as many clothes as I make. And many of you will be sitting there thinking, yeah, so why do you all make them all? But I don't have a massive fabric stash. I do have a collection, a large collection of clothes. I guess that's the payoff, isn't it? But it just brings me such joy. Uh, and, and maybe I say that every video. I apologise if that's the case. But it does genuinely bring me such joy. And these fabrics, well, they are a match made in heaven, aren't they? The top one I'm, I got at... I want to say the knitting and stitching show beginning of the year um i think i've got about three meters of that no in fact it was last year wasn't it because all last year i was going to make the sv set out of this i never got round to it so obviously it's still folded here and then this beautiful red linen viscose is actually the same substrate as the navy that i was just showing you and again that was from all set to sew sorry little miss so and so when they were selling fabrics they no longer do um of this kind anyway um, and then I was watching Craftpreneur, Craftpreneur, I don't know how that's, if you say that, she's predominantly on Instagram at the moment, but she has got a YouTube channel. Um, and she makes a lot of patterns from Helper Sew, which is a Russian sewing pattern, a uh, sew, sewing pattern company. And I saw this set, um, which the name of which has completely gone out of my head. I want to say Pansy and Carla or Carly or something like that. Oh my word, how cute is this shirt and shorts set? So that is coming into my life at some stage. I printed out the pattern today, um, so I've just got to put it together because it's an A4. And I am going to make the shirts and shorts out of this. I think that is going to be amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's going to be way out there. But it's summer, I love a bit of colour. And then you've guessed it, I'm going to make some another pair of Thea trousers or I might cheat and make the wide leg Pomonas because they are so, so easy to make. But I like all the pockets and the, you know, and the, and the bids on the Thea's, so possibly. But then I can wear the shirt with the trousers. Um, and again, I'm loving the open shirt with a little t-shirt underneath look, like a white t-shirt. Oh, isn't that just so cool? I honestly cannot wait to make all of those lovely things. The other option actually for that shorts and t-shirt set is this fabric. <laughs> I didn't show you this before and I apologise that I didn't show you this before. A lovely Andrea when I was down at her shop helping um, on her open day. A lovely Trish. Trisha, sorry I keep saying Trish, Trisha was wearing a dress out of this which was just amazing. Trisha was the most, she was just a beautiful person um, in a beautiful dress and she was working really hard helping me fold all the fabrics that I was cutting so thank you Trisha, you're amazing, what a team we made on that day and also Adele, lovely um, Adele was there and she was our runner so she was putting the fabric fabrics back, it was a great team. I digress. Trisha was wearing this fabric. I believe it's from um, one of the most recent um, Beyond the Pink Door subscription boxes. And I asked Andrea if she had a remnant of it because it's not available for sale. 
and she very kindly um, went um, and had a rummage through her remnants box and found this for me. Now this is the most generous remnant you will ever come across. So Andrea, if you're watching, thank you very, very much indeed. But hey, how cool would, uh, how cool would a Cuba Libra look in this? I'm thinking about the Olivia dress from Atelier Jupe. Um, I'm thinking about an Esty set, which I just love, but also a very cute shirt and short set would look amazing in this as well. So I may well see how we go in this one and then maybe make some of this because I've got definitely enough to make a couple of projects out of this. So Andrea, thank you very much. I will leave it there because you lot are all thinking there ain't no way one person can make all of those plans and do stuff for Lady McElroy and live a life, have a job. Um, oh, and by the way, make it as a target member to Slimming World. I've lost a stone and a half. You can see by my face very unattractively there that I am as shocked as you. Um, I didn't even know I had a stone and a half to lose, really. Um, but I'm delighted I have. That's the point I now stop and I now maintain and I apparently need to master the art of being a target member. Uh, target, mem target uh, by the way, is the goal you set, you personally set yourself. It's not anything to do with the shop in Australia or something like that, or America. Um, someone asked me about that on Instagram. Uh, so I'm absolutely delighted. It does mean actually that all of my clothes um, have to be smaller. I have I've written it down somewhere. It's like something like seven centimetres off my hips or waist or something like that. It's about five or six centimetres off my bust. I'm amazed by this because I've been the same size for a very long time. That's a lot of talk. Have a lovely week, everybody. Hopefully come back next week. Um, <laughs> subscribe if you haven't, because I love having you here. I, I really do enjoy it. And you'll make my day if you leave me a comment too, because I do genuinely um, reply to every comment. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.